I was playing golf with my friend the other day and he was just struggling with thin, 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 fat, thin, thin, thin. And his swing was a lot of that traditional, get the club more high here, disconnect the arm from the side, and then he'd try and drop the club down and he would stand up at impact. And this happened all day long. And it's just because he was doing a lot of the things that you read about in the magazines you see everywhere now. I was the same way. And my golf game didn't start improving until I changed to this new way of swinging, which made it easier to hit straighter, farther, and strike ball first and take a nice crispy divot after that. We're looking at changing how you view the golf swing to something that's a lot more powerful. And that first thing is this, the idea of a vertical swing or an around swing. So common golf instruction will tell us that we need to get very vertical. So take the arms up, get the arms higher. And then in the downswing, we got to drop and we've got to swing through and hit hard. And that all feels great because, you know, I feel a ton of power here when I get those arms higher and, you know, dropping the club. Yeah, that feels powerful. I'm doing something. But in reality, it's more of a mess in practice because you're working on timing a lot of things. Lifting the arms, dropping the club, hitting the ball. That's almost like going up to a computer, hitting control alt delete and then hitting delete all your data and just shut down the PC. That's what it does to your golf swing. And I was stuck in this limbo land of, okay, lift, drop, hit, and time. And you'd hit thousands of balls at the range. But it all changed one day when a pro came up to me and said, hey, why are you working so hard? Why don't we just start going more around? And I was like, well, that sounds so strange. That sounds against everything I believe. And he's like, just hit it. He saw this. It was wild. And instead of working my body so hard, switching to something much easier, which is more around my body, using my body better, we switched to this. And my, the ball just, what a difference in the strike. You start feeling something that's like butter on the face. It's like a marshmallow hitting the club and then springing off. It's, it's a s'more at a campfire. It was perfect. So around, there are so many benefits. And today we'll look at just a few ways to create this in your swing. The first thing is get an idea of where your left arm, your lead arm is going. So if your lead arm is going vertical, what are you gonna get? A couple things. He's, if you're working on going more up, you get this tendency to do the flyaway elbow. So there's a variable. Gotta close that at some point if you wanna hit it well. The club gets very vertical. So what's this do? Well, there's your steep and over. So there's a few recipes for slicing, if that's your forte. A few recipes for chunking. Look, the club coming straight down into the ground. I've been working on the railroad. That's what's happening. Instead, we, we think about the, the left arm going around the body and the benefits are amazing. So I start getting this arm going around. Watch what happens. Boom. This arm which is essential for great ball striking. You've seen me talk about it on this channel. It's tucked in. And when this arm gets loaded in here, I can then hit right back to the ball. Whew. So I, I don't have to drop. I don't have to even think about it. All I think about is get that left arm a little lower and I'm set and then bring it right back to the ball. And I, I'm right there. I'm right there. I'm in a beautiful hitting position, explosive through the ball. It's, it's not powerful, it, it's powerless when the club's out here in the downswing. If it ever gets out there, I call this the death zone, it's over. But if you're here, club behind the hands, whoosh, you're hitting from there, it's so much more powerful. So good old golfers, you should not be hitting on a vertical playing field, but rather one that is like this, around the body, it's diagonal. That's the moment it all changes, as you get diagonal instead of up and down. Look at the other benefit. I'm gonna, I'm gonna be get, get so excited about this, I might, I might just start going streaking on the range. <laughs> Not really. <laughs> but left arm going across the chest. Left arm going in. Watch what happens with my body. Boom, the hips turn. Like, this is a beautiful thing. Because no matter what your age is, you can take advantage of hip turn. Whether you're 93 
or 23, hip turn is going to give you more speed today. Just by introducing hip turn, I've got a lot more speed in my swing. The ball is torched. Look at the hips. They're allowed to just clear through the ball on both sides. Backswing, downswing. All because of a simple backswing change? Are you kidding me? There's a reason to get excited about that. Because what? We don't have to think about it. Don't have to think about the hips. Don't have to think about trying to get the body to work because the body's working. It's because your body has to work on this, this angle. It can't work on this. You're tilted to the ground like this. This is, this is the playing field right here. That's the playing field your body is telling you, hey, Tom, you're tilted like this. The only way I can work is this way, on that playing field. If you want to work on some other playing field, then take a hike. That's like what it, my body's telling me because it's like I'm fighting my body here. I go up, I can't turn as well as I do when I go in. I don't fight my body when I go in, I fight my body when I go up. The vertical swing fights your body. This other golfer, he has back pain. Back pain coming from being so vertical. And then the downswing, because he's not turning, he's not turning, his, this leg is this frozen, he doesn't even turn his hips. And then his lower back is bearing the brunt of this because his, his hips can't turn, so he's stuck here, a lot of stress I'm feeling right now. And then when he swings down, He's standing up into impact, and so he's compressing his spine more and more. He's always keeping his spine compressed. He's not allowing his body to be nice and free flowing. So going from vertical to around would solve this problem, eliminate the back stress. Oh, this, this is like the grooviest swing concept ever, because I just told you about how it improves not only your distance, but it's going to improve your contact, it's going to improve your body, this is a winning swing combo. So I'm thinking about getting the hands going more in. So you, you think like lead arm, just moving it more in behind your shoulder. Like think of my hands, where are my hands at the top? Are they high or are they lower? So this brings me to how I would go about improving your swing to get those kinds of results. I would just get set up for an around swing. And what an around swing setup looks like? Well, you do a little bit more weight on the front side. This allows you to turn. And then I would make sure that when I get set, I've got my elbows a little bit closer together and I've got a connection of my upper right arm against my side. And this is so important, keeping this connection to the top. If you keep the connection, the hands are gonna be the right spot every time. You see, I've got glue in here. It's glued, it's not flying away. If, if you fly away, it's going up and it's going wherever. That's when your body starts getting hit with all the damage here. So I just keep this tucked in, glued against my body in the backswing and even through the downswing. And that's, that's beautiful. Backswing, correct path, downswing. I'm hitting from the proper place. Every club in the bag. Wow, instead of thinking about which swing I'm going to use for my driver, my three iron, my five iron, my seven, my nine, my wedge. Instead of thinking about what swing to use, it's already built into the machine. So this, this club right here is going to work on its path that's built by the, determined by the right arm being tucked in. So it's already determined. Like all I gotta do is swing, swing. And that, that path is already determined right there. Now what about the, what about the long irons? What do we do with a, a long iron? This is the longest iron in my bag. It's a four iron. I get set and I got the right arm tucked in. I'm just gonna swing my shoulders around this point. Oh, that is awesome. Don't you love the good feeling of a swath with a long iron? This is what's going on in the Segudo.golf online golf school. I've got a free mini course. Go.segudo.golf. It shows you the top three keys you need to be a great ball striker. These keys are so important to help you get the club moving around the body and into the ball powerfully. I get set. And I got the right arm tucked in. I'm just gonna swing my shoulders around this point. Oh, this is truly euphoric. Every day doing this is, this is your new existence. I can't do it when I go high arms. I can't hit my longer clubs. You find it's, it's hard to hit your longer clubs. You're, you're setting yourself up in a position that you can't hit the ball from a powerful place. Here's where you gotta hit your long clubs from. But if you're getting here, it's over. The relationship is over, I'm sorry. Now you just love that sound. 
in, 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 in. In is in style. <laughs>